Sharon's here. How are you today? Oh, girlfriends, we've got a good one today. I'm getting back to my I Look series, and I promised you that the next one I would do is what I call the Circle Technique for Small Hooded Eyes. Now, some people call it the dome shape. Some people call it the one color look. All right, this is the look that we're going for today. All right, now I have used three colors in getting this look. And as you well know, any time you're trying to work with a small hooded eye, mattes are best. You want all mattes. Because if you're using iridescence, satins, sequin looks, that is just going to reflect more light. All right, that's going to pop it out there, and then that way our hood will show more. What we're trying to do is to decrease, you know, block out the hood. With a darker color, it decreases that look. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's kind of like if you have a, a black dress or a white dress. White is going to uh, not make you look as slim, all right? But if you wear a black dress, it's going to be more slimming. That's the difference between the dark and the light colors. But definitely you want to use mattes most of the time. Now, you can always use a satin on your eyelid, and that is fine. But don't put all that satin and sequin and everything else anywhere else. So today I'm going to teach you what I call, actually it's, it's more like a bubble technique that I'm going to teach you. That is my name for it is the bubble technique for small hooded eyes. So the first thing we've done is we put on all of our makeup right now. You know, the skincare first, obviously. We've um, already, uh, you know, um, used the painterly pot for this eye over here. So it's smooth that over. That's the primer there. Everything is done. Now we're ready for our shadows. Now, this is kind of unique. I'm going to use a mauve tone, almost a deep rose tone for this look to start. Now, this is a blush. Yes, it is. This color is Baby Blush by MAC. So I'm going to take my shader tie brush. I was using a 217 for this. I may switch over and try a... Um, 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 let me try to work with, and I just had it here. What did I do with it? Let me go ahead and stick with a 217 for right now. Okay, so I'm going to put, put it in this color. And what I'm going to do is make a bubble shape on the eye. That's what it's all about. You just want a bubble shape. You don't want to extend here and you don't want to extend here. You just want to work in this area. So if you were to draw an imaginary line right here, this is kind of where you'd be putting that. Do you see what I'm saying? So we're going to do it in the shape of a bubble, round. All right, so we're going to take this shadow and working right in this area. We're going to tap it in. Now, don't use a big glob. Let's start off small and let's build up, all right? I don't care how long it takes you. It better be safe than sorry. So we're just going to keep building this up because the whole idea is to get up to where we are covering our hood. Now, as you apply, you sit back and say, okay, you know, can I see the hood so I know if I need more or not? We're going to go higher, all right? We're going to go a little higher here because i got a lot of space we can work with. And I want to make sure that hood is covered. You just pat, 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 pat until you get just what you need where you need it. And that's what I call it the bubble effect because you're just using a round end, all right? That's all you're doing. And you can round off the top with the edge if you'd like. 
Okay. Now, if I was just going to go to work or just go somewhere, I could just put on my liner or, you know, I could tight line my eye, put on my mascara, and I could go to work easy peasy or out the door in five minutes. But, you know, I'm known for being a little more dramatic in my look sometimes. So, you can still take this bubble look and you can make it a little more dramatic. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hop over here to Max Handwritten. Alright, this is the shadow I'm going to use next. And with Handwritten, I am going to kind of give it some pop. So I'm going to dip my brush in, just like this. And I'm just going to kind of dot on the edge over here with my Handwritten, okay? Let's kind of make a little dot. And it's not that I'm giving it a V. I'm just going to give it a little bit of darkness right now. And then I'm going to immediately turn around and smooth that edge out. And there's a method to my madness, so just work with me here, girls. Okay? I'm just going to make circular motions, and I'm just going to smooth that out. Okay. Didn't do a lot, just gave me some definition, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take handwritten again, and I'm going to put handwritten on a thin liner brush. You can use, what you can do is you can use, um, you can use a pencil brush, you can use a slanted brush if you want anything. We're going to kind of line the eye, but not a lot. Watch. Alright, so we're going to connect this line that we just moved out. We're going to kind of bring it down in this V-shape. We're just going to kind of scoop it over the eye. Now I'm just going to bring this across, because what we're going to do we're going to grad, you know, we're going to make this color kind of gradually move. Now we're going to kind of go up like yay. I'm going to take this brush again and we're going to blend. I want to blend these colors together. I want to make it darker on the lash line and glow, go up gradually into the mauve color. Okay? And it'll get lighter and lighter, but I need a little drama here. All right, now let's take some more. Let's dip it into the handwritten again. And I want to put some more on that lash line. Put a little more on that lid. Kind of move it up. We're still in our bubble shape. Okay, I want to blend some more. All right, so we want to blend that out. You can do the windshield wiper effect and at the corners, let's do circles. Now you see how that makes it a little more dramatic by putting the handwritten down below. You can also use the color uh, Plumage by MAC. All right, you can use a violet type color. My favorite color to use for this, for the bubble technique, okay, the bubble look, is Lorac's Garnet. You start putting that on and it just kind of gradually looks like it's, it's, it has sort of a sheen to it. So that's the kind of look you want. So here we are, simple, easy, squeezy. Now all you do after that is you tight line the underneath your eye. And we're going to tight line a little bit here. I'm going to have to turn this around because I'm blind as a bat. And let me tight line. And I am tight lining today with more of a blue type color. Running it through those lashes.
okay? And then I always use white or a bone color on the bottom of my eye, my lid, so because it opens up my eyes and makes it a lot brighter. And with the bubble technique, you want all the pizzazz you can get, okay? So then I'm going to run this on the bottom. Just opens it up. And the only thing you have to do that is you can apply eyelashes. I want you to realize one thing. With this look, it'll look smashing with a set of Demi Wispies. Because people with hoods right here, hooded eye people, any kind of lash, especially the ones that are extended on the corners, give your eyes more pop and they have a tendency to rise above here and cover the lid. All right, so you're not seeing all that. Eyelashes are a godsend and a blessing. Trust me, girlfriends, okay? But this is the kind of look that we're going for. And like I said, I used um, Baby Blush by MAC as my rose color here. You can just add some more to it if you want. Right on top of the handwritten. See? Just gives you a brighter color. This is all you're, you're going for. You are absolutely going for something more dramatic when you add to it. But you can just do the one-eyed look, as I call it, and you can stick with a mauve color. You can use any color you want. Um, I really like to use the unzipped palette for that as well, and the uh, Tardiest Pro, because they have colors in there. You know, you can use a transition color on your line, just keep going up, and then use, you know, darker browns and coppers even, whatever you want. And we'll do a lot of those looks. But this is easy. It doesn't take any time to do it. And you can see how simple it is. And it's so easy to play with because you just go back and you just go back and forth and add colors or delete colors. But remember it's the bubble shape. Alright? It's just a round, some call it dome shape, some call it the one color I call it the bubble look. Half a bubble. That's all you do. Cut it in half. Just lay it on your eye. If in doubt as to whether you're getting enough bubble, I say, you know, take a brush, take a pencil, you know, just gradually, like I've shown you in the other eye series, how to map out your eye, you can just mark that it, can, it cannot extend this line and it cannot extend that line and then just put the top on it. Gradually do that. Press it in with a, you know, with a brush. Like yay. You can just go up like this. Press, press, press. Press, press, press in a round shape. And then go down. Press, press, press. So you know all in there is your bubble and you won't extend outwards. That way it's covering up your hood and it's giving you more oomph. Okay? I hope that helped, girlfriends. I hope you understood that. <laughs> I think you did pretty good. I like to be precise and go over things at least a couple of times because I have so many ladies saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for going over and over it till I got it right. And the main thing is, is if you're going to fix your face while you're running one of these videos, you want to see and you want to make sure you don't miss the first time so you have to keep going back and reversing, okay? The rest of my makeup is, um, my blush is uh, NARS Orgasm. I'm not using a highlight today. I'm using my Touche Claw makeup. Um, no contouring whatsoever. I use my Chanel mascara today. My eye pencil by Chanel. That may be about it. All right, girlfriends, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad you did. I hope this is a new eye look for you. You can play with your colors. If you haven't tried the Garnet by La Rock, um, I'll put a link below. Um, Sugar Puff and Fluff, Nisha had done the one color look. 
with the garden it looks gorgeous you might want to check that out i'll put that video link below too because i like for you all to learn these easy eye looks because you can really dress them up and then you can try other methods you see what i'm saying that's what i'm trying to show you different ways to do things until my next video i want you to stay sassy classy and confident and give me a big thumbs up <music>